A rally outside the Portland State Campus Police Office has turned into an occupation of sorts. The protest comes as campus police officers shot and killed Jason Washington while responding to a fight. Uh, people there say that they're not leaving until their demands are met. They want campus police disarmed for good after that incident. Fox 12's Kelsey Watts has been on campus all day and is tracking the story for us now. Kelsey? Well, Pete, that occupation is underway behind me now with a couple of dozen people here just outside the campus safety building. You can see they've set up a couple of tents and a canopy here. This, as we're hearing from Jason Washington's wife, daughter, and brother. It began as a rally on the first day of fall term at Portland State University. Students gathering together to demand the disarmament of PSU police after Jason Washington was killed by campus officers in June. His wife, daughters and brother shared their tears and hugs at the rally before the group started marching to the spot where Washington was killed. Jason was a provider, a protector, a husband, a father, a papa, a friend, a veteran, and he was our everything. PSU. The group ended up outside the PSU campus safety building, announcing they would occupy the space indefinitely, demanding that campus police be disarmed, that the two officers involved in this shooting be fired, and that a permanent memorial to Washington go up at PSU. Washington's daughter, Lexi, addressing the crowd. All he wanted to do was help people. He did everything right, and he was still shot. The fight to disarm PSU will not end until PSU is disarmed. Jason's brother Andre says he supports the occupation. Just over a week ago, a grand jury cleared the officers of any wrongdoing, saying they acted in self-defense or the defense of a third party. He says their family was not allowed to be there for the proceedings. That was very tough on our family, very tough. And it's also tough because you don't know what goes on behind those closed doors. <laughs> Then the officer's body camera video was released, and when he saw it, he was overwhelmed with emotion. It was horrifying. I still don't have all the answers. That doesn't. That still doesn't give all the answers. Now, as people gather outside the campus safety office, it's a waiting game to see whether they'll be allowed to stay. And we did get a statement from Portland State University today saying in part, Jason Washington's death has had a profound impact on the Portland State community and the university recognizes the right to participate in peaceful protest. PSU has hired an independent security consulting firm to review campus safety policies and procedures, which will hold a series of public forums in the upcoming weeks. Now we got that statement before this rally turned into this sit in here. So tonight it's not clear how the university will respond to these people camped outside the building. We are told a vigil will be held here tonight at 7 o'clock. Live in downtown Portland, Kelsey Watts, Fox 12 Oregon.